Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to construct confidence intervals for a population mean when sigma is unknown. And this is the more typical case, in which case we'll be using the t distribution. And we're going to see how to do this with Minitab Express. And we have two demonstration, demonstrations in this video. In the first case, we're going to see how to construct such a confidence interval when you're just given the sample statistics the sample size, the sample mean, and the sample standard deviation. And in the second half, we're going to see how to do this when you just have a column of raw data. All right. OK, so let's get started. Suppose um, we go to example one from 7.4. We want to find the 95% confidence interval for the population mean when you have a sample of size 35 with sample mean of 72.5 and sample standard deviation of 10.2. This is super easy to do in Minitab Express. Just come on over here. You want to go over to the Statistics button, Statistics tab, I guess. And these are confidence down here, so it's a one sample. So you click on that. And this is a T distribution because um, it's for population mean without the population standard deviation being known. So we click on one sample t, and it asks us here, this first thing it says is sample data in a column. There should maybe be a question mark, because there's another option there, and that is summarize data. And that's what we have. When we say summarize data, we're talking about the sample size, which we have is 35. The sample mean is 72.5. The sample standard deviation is 10.2. We're not doing a hypothesis test. So the alternate hypothesis, we don't have to worry about which one to pick here. But we can change the confidence level. There's 90, 95, or 99. We will go with the 95. And then click OK. And in the output, it repeats some of the stuff you put in there, the, the sample size, the mean standard deviation. There's the standard error. That's, and um, here's your confidence interval right there. 68.996 to 76.004, which is just what we got in the book whenever we used the T table. All right, fast and easy. Now suppose you had raw data. And in this case, we'll have some data in an Excel file right here, say, and sample data. This is 40, 40, 40 data entries of uh, numbers. I, I think they came from a normally distributed population. All right. OK, so this is, this is almost easier. I want to get the sample data into Minitab Express. So I just highlight my column. And if you want, you can actually just highlight each individual cell and do copy, go up to the top left here, paste. There's my data. Now I'm going to follow the same sequence of events with one minor change. So I go back up to one sample, T. But now, in fact, the sample data is in a column. So I'm not going to change that. Remember, in the last time, the first half, we changed it to summarize data. We actually have the sample data. So we have to import our data that we have in our first column there. So we take that, send it over with that arrow to the sample. Again, we're not performing a hypothesis test. So the alternative hypothesis, it doesn't matter what we pick. The confidence level, again, we can change. Let's go with 99 this time. Click OK. And in the output, you can see your confidence interval. All right, 71.95 to 875.75. Very easy. It also gives you the um, sample size, mean, and standard deviation, uh, which is also good to know. But there it is, fast, easy. Minitab Express um, takes a lot of the calculations right out of it for you. And we are done.